Hello, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Build series. Today, I have something kind of different to show you guys that is standing right beside, behind me. And I can't wait to show you guys, so go give your cat a little pat on the head for me, and let's get started with the video. So just to clear things up, I have no idea why I said to go uh, pat your cat on the head for me. I was just trying to think of things to say, I guess. But uh, yeah, today I have a whole bunch to show you guys. We uh, really cleaned up a lot of stuff, really updated a lot of things. And also the new project is sitting right over there. But uh, one thing that I did notice when I first got onto the world was I was just looking around and seeing all the trees. And I really, really think that this like whole map looks just a lot better with trees. Uh, I just think it really livens it up a little bit, and uh, just makes it look, it just makes it look better, I think, in my opinion. So, uh, I don't know, not everybody might not think that, but I think it looks, makes it more natural. But, uh, yeah, so here's the first thing I'd like to show you guys. We have new dogs. Yeah, we have four now. Uh, we did have Pumpkin, so let's go up in here really quick. Uh, yeah, we have Pumpkin right here. Uh, we have Vanilla Ice. And we have Edgar. And I think this one's name is Marcia, is what uh what we're calling this one. So we took Pumpkin last time. Let's take a Vanilla Ice this time and uh, see how he does. Maybe he won't be as crazy. What I'm wanting to do, uh, this is just like for the future. I'll probably do this before the unveil, is like right out here in this area, turn this into like a big dog, like training yard or something like that. Maybe put like a little house inside the mountain. So I could actually have them all enclosed and make a way that I can, uh, like pick one randomly each episode. Like I hit a dispenser and a different color wool comes out and that, you know, decides their color, their collar color. And so I'll know which dog to take every episode. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, that sounds like a pretty neat idea. So I'd make this into like a training yard for dogs and stuff. So that's kind of what, um, that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing here pretty soon is that, so I'm just hoping he doesn't like glitch underneath this courtyard like Spartacus did and die. That would be so bad. I don't want to lose another dog. Uh, George is in the same spot. I think he's actually trapped here. I don't think he knows how to get back out. So at least he's confined now. But we're going to go ahead to the love garden and go ahead and introduce uh, somebody new really quick. And oh yeah, look at that. I still just love that so much. But uh, yeah, let's go to the love garden really quick and invite the new uh member to it really quick and our stampy tribute <laughs> and this episode it is sethy boy 948 he is a new subscriber to the channel so i like to go ahead and uh thank him for joining and welcome to stampy's love garden uh let's see what else i want to show you guys i showed off the path last episode um so let's swing back here and I'll show you what's new back here really quick. Um, I was going to say I was going to pretty up the back a little bit. But all I really did is I fixed the sugar cane back here. Because it was underneath the bushes and I just put it up a little bit. And I added some grass and flowers in. I'm going to make this a little bit different. I want to put some other flowers in. It won't look just like... Jesus. It won't look just like this. It'll look a little bit different. But I wanted to put some kind of texture in here just for now. And I also finished the railing for the lighthouse, and I think it turned out freaking awesome. I think that looks so neat, guys. Uh, that's me. I'm really simple-minded, and I like simple things. But to me, I think it looks, it just looks really cool. Uh, just the way it kind of flows all the way down, you know. Kind of has that roller coaster vibe to it, I guess. And the other thing, and this has proven to be harder than I ever thought, was this. That's right. It's a path leading to the jungle. And I've determined that that tree right there in the distance, that is where I want our home tree to be. I don't know what we're going to call it yet. And uh, some people made this obvious to me that I really need to have like names for certain places. Like our home, 
if we're gonna have different like HQs and stuff like that, we need different names for different things. So this might be like a mother tree or something like that, and then that might be, yeah, I don't know yet. It's just an idea. But I had it leading out here. I was just trying to get a basic, you know, thing going. I might end up putting a bridge right here. That's why I kind of just put a simple walkway. But this was becoming so hard to do, guys. You can see where I kind of just stopped in some areas. But it's going to lead through here, around here, next to this ravine. It's going to come down. That's as far as I got. I ran out of stuff. But our tree's right there. So it's kind of just going to scale right here and then loop around and back up. So, just doing this, guys, just made me realize how far the world's come, and just us expanding, and I'm, I'm just really stoked for what we're doing right now, guys. It's, I mean, it's gonna be crazy. Like, just five, five episodes ago, I mean, like, this wasn't there, and just, it's really neat watching the world grow and stuff. Maybe for, like, episode 50, we'll do the, uh, jungle unveil. And you guys will be able to see it whenever we do other episodes. You'll be able to see it in the distance. But I won't actually go and explore it. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't really know what we're going to do yet for 50. I'll have a list and maybe we can just kind of vote on it and see what you guys want to see. We're definitely doing Funland though for 25. And we have the Greek world still. We have the Hunger Games Arena. We have uh, Lake Town. We have the Jungle Area. Uh, we have a bunch of places still that we're, you know, going to try doing. And I also, with the new update that came out, I know I'm rambling a lot. <laughs> it seems like I'm rambling a lot now, but uh, I just have to get out of my system. But the new update, what? Can I not get up here? Okay, there we go. With the new update, uh, they included a lot more fish into the game. And as you guys can see, I started doing some fishing a little bit. And let me kind of show you guys what the new animation looks like. Before, I just sit there and like, it kind of, you see a little bit of bubbles and then it dive down. Now, as you can see, you can see bubbles popping up around and hopefully this won't take too long but you should see like a random stream they'll like head towards right there you see that bam oh we got a name tag oh sweet i need that for a dog okay wow i, I didn't know you could get name tags in there are you freaking oh my god really i don't see how it oh, it rains every single time, guys, we do an episode. This is starting to drive me crazy. Let me, I'm going to go sleep if I can really quick. And, uh, yeah, let me go sleep really quick. All right, so I just woke up. Uh, it finally stopped raining. The rain is getting really annoying on this seed. It rains, like, every single Minecraft day, without a doubt. So I got this name tag, and I'll go ahead and name... I uh, believe her. Yeah, it's her right there. Uh, name her Martia. And yeah, the dog, that dog idea, I think that's going to be a pretty cool thing to do. A pretty neat little project that'll be kind of fun. To give them, expand on their doghouse a little bit. And uh, just kind of make that bigger. I've seen some dog houses, but they're just, they're kind of boring. So I'll try to make this one. I'll try to spice it up. Have like obstacle courses and, you know, make their interior house look really. Oh my god. How. I just cleared all of them out, guys. Dude, what are you doing? Vanilla Ice, you are crazy. Wow, that is crazy. I went up there spawning over here, too. I've never seen that many at one time, and I just cleared... Oh, oh my god. Jesus, see, I don't know how to fix this. It's because that spawner's too close to the ground, they're spawning right there, and I know I'm losing a lot of iron by that happening. I probably have double the amount. I don't know what I need to do, guys. I don't know if I just need to put giant holes right there or what. But the reason I came here is because I finished the uh, the rose storage area in the back. Oh, no. No. Oh, God, no. 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 What do I do? What do I do? Don't die. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay, so. I have, oh, my God. I thought I was going to was gonna lose vanilla ice. So the reason why I brought us back here is because I wanted to show you guys the rose storage room, and it's it's pretty much done. I think it is done. I put some floors. I'm really falling in love with this new wood, Acadia, or whatever it's called. And, uh, yeah, so this room is done. I, I just really love this floor, man. Can't get over that. 
and so I don't see us doing any future updates to this area for a while. It's pretty much everything that I need. Automatically filters out the iron from the... The, uh, is that broken? One sec. I just heard it go off, so maybe it's not. I think it is. So I'm getting distracted really easily, guys. Let's head up there and see if this thing works really quick. You should be able to teleport, right? So let's go over here and just see if this... Oh, wow. It should pop out and crush them here in just a second. Anytime now. Anytime. Oh! And you can see it come down to this chest and just fill up. Oh, that makes me so happy. I, I never really use iron too much, really. I'm trying to think of things that I use it for. Um, not really a lot. I, I can't really think of anything that I use it for. I don't make iron tools anymore. So another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, we were for our black wool. We were... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so we were using Jeb for our black wool, but I was able to find another sheep, an actual black sheep, and he just rolled up on this place, and I trapped him as soon as I seen him, man. And we actually have Jeb, he has his own little private area now. I'm probably going to make him a cool little house, and call it the house that Jeb built. Uh, that's a pretty good idea, actually. Yes. Oh, yes. Alright, so let me show you guys uh, where Jeb's at, and then I'll show you the project of the day. It's, uh, I guess it's called the Automatic Wheat Farm, or the Automatic Seed Farm, or I guess you call it that. It's it's different. It can't, It's kind of broken. It's not broken. It's just, it's so laggy right here because my automatic storage system that, uh, it's right there. We'll show it in a minute. But, yeah, here's Jeb. He has his own little area now. I'm going to get him his own little house over there. We might actually go right here to kind of fill fill this space in right here, but yeah. So there's Jeb. He's free because he's just special. And if you ever want to do this, just make sure you type in Jeb and then a little underscore thing right there. But let's show off this bad boy. All right, so here it is. It looks complicated, right? So basically, what you do, I forgot which lever it is already. So that's the water. Okay. So, it's going to be really laggy. I'm really sorry if this, like, looks weird. Sit. But basically what you do is click this button. And you see how laggy it is? Yeah. Super laggy. It's not as bad as it has been. But what it's supposed to do, guys, is whenever it shifts back and forth. Let's go underground and I'll show you really quick. The redstone wiring behind it. Uh, but whenever you go down here, there's these, well, you have a basic redstone clock right here. And so it pushes the pistons back and forth. And in doing that, it uh, activates these two dispensers, which have bone meal in it. But it isn't working for some reason. So what I'm supposed to do is sit there and shoot out bone meal, grow the grass, and as the dirt shifts back and forth, it's supposed to break it. And then all I would do is flip that switch with the water all the water would flow down into these hoppers and then into this chest so and then i have a little storage area back here this is also a ki ink a thing that he did i think these are the only flowers that grow using bone meal this is the only ones that i've gotten so far haven't really gotten a lot um i got really frustrated when it didn't work but you have to do it manually like it'll still work but you have to do it manually so let me show you guys what that looks like really quick. Um, it's actually a lot less laggy than it was. Ah, kind of. Let's just see what that looks like really quick. But you can see if you just put the bone meal down, everything's popping up. And, yeah. The best that we can. So let's go ahead and stop this. And you see we have all of our drops right there. We hit this button. They all flow into here. 
and then into this chest. And you just seen that it was empty, so I mean, this isn't a whole lot of stuff, but if you're just looking to get like a few flowers, you need flowers really bad, you don't feel like exploring, um, you can just do this. I'm going to be using this a lot for wheat seeds for my wheat farm, you know, on my towers, and getting that completely filled up. So, oh god, no! So yeah, guys, that's the project of the day. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, but I still feel like it'll be useful for the world. Um, you know, just getting wheat seeds, some flowers that we need, things like that. So I think all in all, it'll be, it's a nice addition. It's not as a, like it looks all right aesthetically, but it's not, you know, ideal. It's not fully automatic. So it's the semi-automatic flower uh, thing, I guess you would call it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he did a design uh, just like this. I just did some different, you know, materials to kind of make it different. Um, I'm really into the new Acadia wood now. So I did that, and I had the path expanding out this way. This is probably going to connect to our tree farm. And then I doubt I'm going to go too far over that way. I might do something like here and here. But if you can see, our mob house is over there in the distance. So I really don't want to go too far over there. So, that is all I have for you guys. Wait, whoa. One sec. There's actually one more thing I want to show you guys that I just found. When I first came into this world, guys, um, I had my friends with me. Like, a whole bunch of friends came with me and started this world. And we started over there. Whenever we do the world tour on the 25th episode, I'll show you guys exactly where I started, everything like that. But I started there, went around the back of that mountain to our first house. And then we quickly came over here. Oh, let me park this dog really quick. Jesus. And then we came down here, guys. And I found this when I was building this wall. And it's, like, basically one of our first ever mines. Besides that one over there by the first house. But I walked down here and I seen this chest. And I'm like, what is what is all this stuff? And then I slowly started to remember, like, what this actually was. And it's actually our first mine, guys. It goes down there. It's nothing crazy, but it's just... We were just cave mining. Um, I think, actually, my friend Calvin, he made this. Uh, he's been on, like, the Minecraft for the Boys series, and he was on Brocraft with me and stuff like that. But you could see, like, the little dirt bridges that we made and stuff like that. And so, I don't know. It was just really cool. I explored down there a little bit. And it was just really neat, you know, seeing that. And it's just so different from, like, my minds now. But, uh, yeah, guys, I just thought that was kind of neat, just seeing uh, one of our first minds. I'm probably going to make, like, a little memorial to this. I'm not going to completely cover it up. But whenever we do our world tour, I will go back through and, you know, show this back off again. I just thought it was really neat. Really neat. <laughs> I know, right? But, uh, oh, the sun is setting. But, yeah, guys, that is all I have for this episode. Um, I was hoping I'd have a little bit better project for you guys. I hope it wouldn't be broken, but it is. But look at that sun setting, though. I mean, that that is that's something to tell your kids about. I just realized that we left our dog over here by the mine with all these golems. Alright guys, so I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I really, really am. I'm really looking forward to episode 25 and doing a full world tour of our series and kind of going back and explaining some of the uh, like stories and stuff behind some of the earlier projects and things like that. I think a lot of the things that we used to make and like when we actually made them is really going to surprise you guys because you would think that we made like these kind of later on, but that was actually like the one of the first things that I made when I came into this world was that. It's crazy, right? I had like some really, really big hopes. Uh, I don't know why I'm going over here. This is this is a secret area. I can't show you guys that yet. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this series, guys. Episode 25 is going to be amazing. Uh, so I really hope you guys stay tuned for that. And see, uh, puffer fish, raw fish, raw salmon. I'm getting distracted again. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here, here in our horse staples. Uh, I just want to thank you guys again so much for the support on the series. And the next episode, we might be doing the Blaze Farm. I'm not too sure yet, but we will just have to wait and see. I haven't planned it out too far yet. But thank you guys again so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you haven't yet. And if you would like to see more, just go ahead and subscribe. What the fuck? <laughs>